Hello and welcome to another episode of Haunts R Us. I'm your host today, Thoughty, and I'm I'm joined by the one that's supposed to be the host, but not is is not today. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not is yeah. today. No, not Chibi. today. No, is. My name is Cheeb. <laughs> Remember me? I'm Cheeb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi! How, how you doing today? I'm doing good, man. The other day I went to an estate sale and I bought a doll and like I put one of my Nanana dolls that had tan skin next to it and like she kept knocking it down <laughs> until I switched her with a lighter skin. Oh one. no! <laughs> mm. Mm, that doll is racism, so, man. <laughs> so I gotta. <laughs> mm. So you know that might be a, a problem I'll be having to deal with. But otherwise, she seems cool. I posted her on Instagram a while I back. Mean, I'll post her again. She's very cute. She is very cute. I'm sad that she's kind of racist, but oh well, you know the poodle skirt was a, a bit of a giveaway. I think the, she'd be wearing that poodle skirt. You know what they say about bitches and poodle skirts? <laughs> <They're> racist. <laughs> But, like, are we, we're talking about, like, dolls today, yeah, man. man. Remember how this is, like, a doll podcast? Yes. A haunted doll podcast, <laughs> even? Remember you that? You know it. <laughs> yeah, man, speaking of haunt- er, speaking of racist dolls, actually. Mm. There's a bit of racism <laughs> in this, but not, not, not the dolls themselves. We're talking about worry dolls! Yay! Those are, um... These are, are a, a bit of my own history, or my own culture, I should say. Uh, they come from Guatemala, and they're usually made by uh, the indigenous people of Guatemala. Yay! Yeah. In Guatemala, which is not part of Mexico. Kids. It is not part of Mexico. <laughs> I, made, <laughs> I made that mistake I, <laughs> on the first episode. I was just like, Guatemala isn't part of Mexico. No. It's the same like landmass, but it's Central America. So so oh, we make it's Central America. Yeah, man. So we make tamales with uh, banana leaves instead. It's great. Oh, those are my favorite. <sighs> I like those ones better because like they keep the moisture yeah, more. Okay. I feel. I'm glad. Yeah, they're like super good. I'm glad you've said that because so many of my Mexican friends are like, "Oh my god, it's disgusting! I can't even believe." I'm like, "You don't get it. Get out of here." <laughs> no, I prefer I. I prefer the Guatemalan tamales. As you should, because they're, they're the best. They're one. very juicy. I like them yep. a lot. I like all of the tamales. They're so good. What do you guys wrap your tamales with? <laughs> the, uh, correct answers only: <laughs> banana leaves. Banana leaves. <laughs> Anything else? Get, get out, out of here. here. Someone in Colombia's like cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> no racism. <laughs> yeah, man. We actually do have. A small amount of following in like Mexico, I really? think, because someone shared, someone shared of our uh, doll island video on WhatsApp, and only like Latin American people use oh, WhatsApp. Oh shit! So. That's <laughs> that interesting. That is interesting. I didn't know that. Well, they're gonna get mad at me because I'm gonna say every Spanish word in here wrong because I don't know my culture. <laughs> it's okay. You've been. It's okay. It happens to all of us. I only kind of know my culture, and only because my parents really tried to teach us the culture. <laughs> yeah, man. My um, the the things that I've learned about my culture recently are are very upsetting. But we'll get into that mm. later. Anyway, yeah, we're man. talking about worry dolls. Uh, worry or in dolls. Spanish, muñeca quita pena. I hope I said it right. Quita pena. Quita pena. You get pena. that, get those thoughts away. Hey, keep the pen. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. sorry, we. I'm bad at Spanish. I'm never gonna let you tell your story. I'm too busy pretending to be Italian. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. Anyway, worry dolls. They are. Small, mostly handmade dolls that originate from Guatemala and are also found in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. They're everywhere. Uh, they're... Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. They're very cute. They're, um, I think I... S- oh, yeah, you sent me pictures of them you wanted to do this topic. <laughs> then I was just like, I am not Guatemala. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Guatemala. How do you this? I too am, am hardly Guatemala. But I did own a couple of worry dolls. I never used them for what they were intended for. They were kind of just Yeah, you just sort of had Yeah, them. they were kind of just decoration. We're not like 
um, we're not like super indigenous, I guess. I, so we we kind of uh, we kind of just like put it on mirrors and stuff. If you like look on Etsy or just even Google like uh, worry doll mirror, you'll see the mirror that we have. <laughs> it's just yeah? a bunch of like you have a worry doll yeah. mirror. Hold on, let me look this up. It's just like a it's like a, a worry doll wreath, basically, with a mirror on the inside. It's really cute. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've seen them, like, in, like, how do you say, headbands and, like, little bow clips. People are starting to, like, put the little worry dolls yeah, on man. there and selling them. They got them on everything. They've become, um... They're fucking iconic. Yeah, iconic. They've become a little, mm, Capitalism. But... <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, but those are it. Though so they're very cute. And in Guatemala, oh, I see. they're made of wire, wool, and colorful textile leftovers. The dolls are then dressed in traditional Mayan style. In Western culture, the dolls are mostly made of pressed paper, adhesive tape, uh, paper again, and colorful wool. So they're not as cute. They're more like paper dolls. So ours is better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, man. <laughs> They're they're much cuter and colorful and I like it. But yeah. So the Yeah, they're very cute. They're very colorful. They always got like little derpy they faces. Do. They're like giving you the side I do, eye. They do. I love it so much. Yeah. They're adorable. Let me put it in there. Let me finish my story. I, <laughs> I'm like, how do I get back into this? How do I continue reading this? Anyway, continuing to read. In the doll's original Guatemalan tradition. A local legend about the origin of the Muñeca Quitepena refers to a Mayan princess named, and I'm going to screw it up 100%, Ixmucane? Ixmucane. I think it's Mayan, mm-hmm. so I'm not entirely sure how to say it. Uh, but she was a princess, and the princess received a special gift from the sun god which would allow her to solve any problems a human could worry about. In traditional and modern times, worry dolls are given or lent to brooding and sorrowful children. They would then tell, or they would tell their dolls about their sorrows, fears, and worries, then hide it under a pillow during the night. After this, the child will literally sleep over the whole thing. <laughs> so you sleep with it under your pillow, uh, and the mm-hmm. next morning, like the tooth fairy, yeah, like a, like putting Except your tooth instead of a tooth. Instead of a tooth, it's just like a doll that you've just like unloaded all your yeah. problems to. <laughs> You're just like, dude. <laughs> it's just like, man, that's some pretty heavy shit right there. You just told me. Dulce was pulling my hair and she said I was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You put it on your pillow and instead of getting money, your problems just go away. Or so the, uh, the, the, the idea is. Uh, let's see. Today, worry dolls are sold in a huge, in huge quantity in Guatemala and Mexico. Nuns and poor children sell them to tourists as souvenirs. The dolls are quite popular since they are so small, and thus easy to carry around. And that's the wiki, you guys. <laughs> you did I did it. the wiki. That's the wiki. And you know what? This part right here, this part about poor children and nuns selling uh, these two tourists as souvenirs. I hate mm-hmm. that shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's the thing about colonialism, man. It, like, disenfranchises the natives that live there, and they just have to find a way to, like, get yeah. by. Uh, I don't know. And it turns this part of your culture into just, like, a, a commodity? What's the... Just, like, something to buy. It's, like, mm-hmm. a packaged little doll. Like, oh, how cute. Let me Let me just buy a couple for my children. It's, like... Okay, so <laughs> so I do have a story about, or uh, more of just like um, kind of reasons as to why I think it's bad <laughs> that yeah, these are being sold. I mean, it's like, sure, it creates jobs because usually the people that are making these um, these dolls are indigenous or poor but it's like they're usually not making it they're usually not making it themselves and then selling it themselves it's usually sold by a big company so a big company will hire them or like hire artisans and and people who can make these side of uh, make these kinds of things uh to make 
like worry dolls and tea cozies and bracelets and stuff for them and then Mm -hmm. sell it (laughs) and like and give the workers like little to no pay yeah yeah that's how it is with like a lot of the artisan crafts even in like mexico the whole thing man capitalism capitalism. and plus like you didn't even know like what the significant was of like the worry doll until i made you wikipedia exactly like (laughs) i you're just like oh i know that yeah like i as a guatemalan person was like oh yeah i've had a couple of those but it's like that's not (laughs) it's because i was a tourist in my own country (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, it hurts, man. It hurts. I have a story right here about this lady right here. Like, I mean, I found her on a website. Uh, I guess that they sell these dolls for her or like it's it's like a charity sort of thing, which mm-mm. but she um, that's kind of the exact story is that she was working for a company to make or like making cozies and bracelets and then they asked her to make worry dolls so she she made the worry dolls for them but Mm -hmm. she earned nothing so (laughs) yeah oh yeah Mm. she earned nothing and so she just made them herself and decided to sell them herself and like that's great but it's like oh my i don't know man just like seeing is gross man like they they're making all this pretty much they're making a lot of money selling these pieces of culture to tourists and and they're not giving they're not giving them any money and it's like super deceitful because when you go to these marketplaces you usually like i don't know i feel like people usually assume that the people uh, like i guess the cashiers would be the word cuz they're not like mm-hmm. selling it for themselves these they're selling it on behalf of a company but you think that this person mm-hmm. that's selling it to you like <laughs> is is getting all the money and it's not true but i don't I, it feels like they kind of do it on purpose cuz when you buy them you're like oh th- did you make these and they're usually said yes because they have made them but they're not getting the money for it man <laughs> it's gross mhm yeah it's a, it's, it's a, a giant, giant pyramid, pyramid scheme, scheme we don't even and know it. these items are sold for a super low cost as well. So it's like you can only you can only imagine how little they're getting. It's like they're not getting paid at all, man. I don't know. It's like mm-hmm. mm, we're we're going off topic now. <laughs> I am, man. Sorry, yeah, man. but what about the psychology <sighs> of worry dolls? You want to go to psychology? <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'll stop talking about how capitalism bad. Dislike capitalism. Sorry, guys. I don't know, man. It just it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not all bad, but it just kind of gives um. Um, it's a lot of opportunity to to be shitty to other people. <laughs> I got some fun facts about worry dolls and how they actually work. They actually how work, do they baby. Work, baby. They're supposed to be magic, and. Uh, I think they are, but there's also psychology into it, me. So the Sparks notes is that there was a study. They had participants think that they were playing a computer game with two other people. They have them in there. They think they're playing a game with other people. For a while, two other people throw the ball regularly to the participants on screen character. Uh, But after a while, they stop and begin to throw the ball only to each other. In reality, the other people don't exist in the game. Uh, and it's just, it's just a computer. But Mm -hmm. the participant doesn't know this and feels the sting of social rejection. (laughs) Yeah, they're like, this person doesn't play with me anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's like, how How dare they? This is what, this is what makes gamers (laughs) the way they are. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. But anyway, it's like, I don't want to play with you. Your rank is (laughs) Get away from me. Disgusting. (laughs) Hate it. (laughs) Why why is this an important thing? I'll tell you right now. So in this, uh, in this study, what they found was that people who had relatively less activity in the area and who reported feeling relatively less distress had more activity in the right ventral lateral cortex an area of the brain associated with verbalizing thoughts and language production. This suggests that putting feelings into words may activate the part of the prefrontal cortex, which may in turn suppress the area of the brain that produces emotional distress 
So basically talking about your issues just makes you less sad. <laughs> it makes the other part of your yeah. brain calm the fuck down for a second. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man, that makes sense. It do be making sense. Yeah, there you go. That's the study. <laughs> They did a couple studies about it, but the, they all said the same thing, is that, like, if you talk about the issues that you're having, you're going to stress about them less, and you're going to feel less bad. Because of this, worry dolls are also used in children's psychology. Oh, cool. They're just like, here, just tell this thing in your problems, because, I, because, dude, kids in, like, therapy are little <laughs> shits, dude. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yeah, so I could imagine that sort of stuff being implemented because, like, I remember, like, all of my friends in high school who, like, had, not even high school, middle school even, who had to go to, like, therapy would always be like, man, I fucking ah! hate my therapist. Today she tried to ask me about my feelings and I didn't say oh. anything for an hour. <laughs> Just like, oh, damn. Oh, child needs, like, <laughs> needs therapy. It makes them uncomfortable, oh, man. man. They don't that- want to talk about it. Yeah, man. That's really funny. I mean, yeah, that works. If it doesn't open up yeah. to an adult, give them a doll. Be like, hey, tell them all your problems. Kid will be like, that's stupid. And then at night, they'll be like, hey, man, Billy was mean to me. <laughs> Not that that's the only thing kids go to therapy for. <laughs> I don't uh, There's a lot of things kids go to therapy for. Yeah, man. But yeah, I could see that being implemented, like, really well. Because kids are... A little difficult, not difficult, but they're like different to work with, you know? I don't know, I don't know the specifics about child psychology, but I know kids are like weird. They're like, they'll just like say whatever you want them to say and then they'll be like, all right, well, my hour's up, I'm back on my merry way. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, kids are very like, they want to please. So, yeah, so they kind of just, they kind of pick up on what you want to say or like, if you guide them into something, or I mean, I don't know, I'm not a therapist, but it seems like if you, like, kind of try to guide them into saying something, they'll just say whatever you think that they want you to say. Or that you want them to say. Mm-hmm. It's like, does that make you feel mad? And it's like, yeah, I so, guess. Yeah. It's like, fuck, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's like, sure, dude. It's like, no, I wanted you to- <laughs> It's like, no, man, I wanted you to, to tell me how you actually feel. Yeah, man. Man, I feel like I almost went to psychology, but then I was just like, I don't want to help people. No. (laughs) That's my least favorite thing to do. I hate customer (laughs) service. Hey, man, customer service is... (laughs) Some some people think you are a counselor. They're like, this happened and this and the other thing. I I gotta go over here. I'm like, cool, this is a Wendy's. (laughs) Yeah, dude, I've I've had interactions like that. I remember, like, I was I was just I was just slicing deli meat, just having a good old time, and this guy was just like, "Man, I just came back from Iraq. Man, I just want to I want to go back, dude. Like, I know I have my kids, but I just I need to go back, bro. Like, what am I doing here? And okay, I was just like, all right, dude, <laughs> go back then, man. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to tell you, man. Here's your ham. Maybe sometimes you just got those faces, yeah. man. They're just like, I have to, I have to tell this cashier There's definitely everything, that. man. They see right <laughs> through me. And I, I think you got a point there, man. Like, um, like my, the, the partner, the boo thing, the boyfriend, uh, people are always coming up to him and asking for help. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like when I'm at work or like a couple what's it called uh like a few minutes before and after work people will like usually come up to me and ask me stuff because i I guess they can sense i'm in like workplace mode but but Mm -hmm. but boyfriend (laughs) everywhere we go everywhere we go like is this is this the line for and i'm like bitch he seems friendly though he's just like this jolly dude he is friendly he's adorable (laughs) i love him yeah He's, he's yeah, he's he got glasses. Has that face, but like he, he he's got a yeah. beard, but not an intimidating sort of beard, like a very hey. dopey beard. So he's just like, this yeah, guy he will looks not very me. nice. Like, <laughs> so I think you yeah. got. I feel like with my partner, it's like no one will approach him because his his normal resting. He face does just look a little really angry. angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very 
unapproachable, which is why I love to wear alternative <laughs> fashion. Because no one will approach me because I have like this yeah. bear of a man behind me <laughs> glaring at everyone. It's like you stay away from my pretty pink princess girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, I wish that were me, bro. <laughs> Everyone. Hey, what's this? Can I... Do I go to you to do X, Y, or the other thing? Do you know the directions to this place? I'm like, I'm trying... Leave me alone. <laughs> like, it's... I don't know <laughs> I don't anything. Know I mean, anything. they're not talking to me, but, like, by proxy, I'm like, you're stu- You're halting me. I'm trying to walk. Can you get away from me? <laughs> Step away from my boyfriend, because I don't want to talk to you. I don't know. He's very nice about it. He's like, oh, yeah, man, totally. And I'm like, no. Sometimes I'll be like, no, we don't know. (laughs) And he just continues. I'm like, please. I don't want to talk to this person. I want this person out of my life. Oh, it is funny. (laughs) That's funny, man. And man, do you think, do you think Kitapenas can be haunted? Like, do you think someone's told, like, the Kitapenas some, like, real (laughs) fucked up shit? And then they just decide, they're just like, man, fuck this shit. Just you popped out of the pillow and ran I wondered away. the same thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not a yeah, whole lot. You... But. Yeah. I think when people think haunted dolls, they're just like, oh, with like the glass eyes and like the, scor- the, the scorpion. The, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Porcelain. Those are the creepy ones. The skin like texture. I mean. But like they look at these dolls and they're just like they're non-threatening. They're they're just. I chilling. mean, one person did at least, or um, not the haunted stuff. There's actually a movie about about these uh about these dolls, and it's like low key kind of racist. <laughs> I didn't watch Dude, it. Did you watch it? I, know I didn't you mentioned it. it. Um, so I guess a grain of salt. It 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 read as slightly racist from the trailer. So the. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the trailer is that, like, oh, they're, like, talking about these dolls, and, of course, this white person knows exactly what they're talking about. They're like, oh, yeah, keep the penis, for sure. <laughs> and I'm like, you didn't know, but no. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, is it that trope where it's, like, a white person, and, like, they're in, like, a foreign land, and yeah. always has to be, like, a white person protagonist instead of, like, a person of color? Yeah, no, the person of pro- color is the one fucking... <laughs> being like oh my god i can't believe you've done this no it's i mean <laughs> i kind of don't remember if that was the case mm, kind no i think it was i think it was i think it was the case but the like what was it the, this lady again she was she was black so it again the trope continues she's like they, they were talking about it they're like no these dolls are like good luck and she's like not all of them <laughs> Not all of them. <laughs> Not all of and them. And it's like, ooh, fucking, <laughs> ooh, thing from a different country, scary, ooh, witchcraft, oh, scary. Exactly, which oh, is why I was, like, like slightly that. racist. Because if you don't know what these dolls are, like, some of them, like, are made of, like, straw and stuff, so they do look kind of like, ooh, voodoo dolls, but they're not. And also, that's, again, voodoo's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. But <laughs> yeah. And like voodoo dolls are like a just like a very small exactly. aspect of like voodoo. Voodoo is like yeah, its own like religion, right? It's, uh, it's yeah, own it's set its of, own beliefs set of beliefs for sure. And like practices. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of people just associate voodoo with voodoo dolls, which we might talk That'd about a little bit more but right now. We're, we're, we're in we're these we're in ones. The, we're Hispanic in the dolls that you tell your problems too. Um which brings me to my next mm-hmm. point. Magic real, bro. <laughs> magic, magic real. real. Tell us about. I'm telling you. Magic I'm telling you right real. now. See, I told you the psychology of the dolls, right? And that's real. We mm-hmm. we agree that this is a real thing. That these dolls help children, uh, and well, yeah, children feel better. That's magic, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. When, when you, really you really think, think about, about it, it that's the magic, Mayans. Baby. We're right. Yeah, because you're putting, what is it? You're fucking, gosh, we talked about it in the Okiku Yeah, you're episode. putting your, your intent. intent. What, are the, what are the magic yeah, yeah. words? You tell me. <laughs> no, yeah, like the intent is to feel better. So what you do is you tell the doll you're distressed and you put it under your pillow and you go to sleep. And these are all things we know work. Mm. Having and- a good night's, 
<laughs> and then you go to the therapist's office and you refuse exactly. to sleep with that to your therapist <laughs> until the hour is up. <laughs> I knew a handful of kids who had therapy and like they would always say that and now that I'm older I'm just like no man tell me yeah. what your therapist said I need that free therapy yeah man you're a kid you're going to free therapy I'm trying to pay for that shit how dare you it's like <laughs> I have like a hundred dollar co I can't do that shit every time I ain't going kids don't deserve good I'll, things look with that hundred dollars I'll just buy myself another Ugh, pushy I I'm wish fine. I had signed up for fucking what is it for Lib- Libby or Lydia or whatever before I quit Starbucks cause I could've used that free online therapy you know what I'm saying <laughs> Oh, yeah, they do fucking shit on the podcast, too. That could be us, man. <laughs> that could be us. We could talk about psychology. We're just like, hey, man, you should try Libby and these <laughs> quita penas for the things hey, you don't want to tell your therapist. Sometimes there's things you don't want to tell your therapist. You're like, fuck off, man. I don't want to tell you about my, I don't know, I don't know what else like, you could tell them. But, um, yeah, man, fucking magic real. <laughs> Yeah, man, this was like, this is what they were made for. This is what uh, this indigenous culture like intended. It was to help kids Mm -hmm. who were feeling scared or whatever. And then like as time passed by, they just became like little knickknacks for tourists. And like the meaning with time was lost because like you have these dolls and like you didn't know that they had this sort of cultural significance until like you read a Wikipedia Literally, article about it. I didn't know about anything it. about them. Ugh. Yeah, man, I could have used them too. I was a fucking worried kid. Oh, dude, yeah. I was a hello worried kid. I think I mentioned it in like La Llorona episode that I had like a lot of behavioral <laughs> issues. That my mom was like, "I will just tell her a bunch of these fucked up horror mm. stories, and she will behave." And it didn't work. Mm. <laughs> I was a I was a very scared child, and I believed in like all of the supernatural, and like I still do, uh, to a certain extent, you know. Uh, except nothing bad's happened to me lately. I haven't gotten sleep paralysis. I mean, I did have that ghost that pulled on my sheets. Yeah, the you other did. Day. I told you about I t- that. Ooh, I'm. I told. Don't worry, yeah. baby. I sent it to you. It might get there in like four weeks, but I sent it to you. Don't even. Don't even trip. I got you, fam. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Maybe I'll. Maybe I shall create some content. That seems like something our audience would like on the Instagram. I'm trying to figure out how to <laughs> use talk Instagram. About it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I actually. Yeah, man. Mm, I actually got you some stuff from like a really powerful voodoo priestess. So <laughs> very exciting. Cool. No, I like her. I accept it. Um, should I shut? No, we can do that later. If we if if we do anything for the Instagram about the stuff that I bought us, I'll I'll tag her. But yeah, man, it it's yeah. it's fucking it's fucking yeah, man, it's that's... real, man. It was it was called magic before, and now we're like, no, nah, it's psychology. Magic is just things we don't have a name for yet, yeah, man. man. And I guess that that's the fucking like hippy dippy. You know, everything is magic, but like. I don't know. Magic, magic science, man. You can't tell me. I know all the fucking smart boy, smart, smart gamer boys will have something to say about fucking calling magic science <laughs> without an explanation. But like, that's what it is, bro. Don't worry yeah, about man, it. Don't it's worry fine. about it. They're like. Yeah, speaking of, like, having not as much cultural significance, so I suppose it does have a lot of cultural significance. It's, like, the rag dolls that we naturally, like, associate with, like, Mexican culture. You've seen them. They have, like, the little dotted eyes, the V yeah. smile, and, like, the, the colorful braids and cute. ribbons on them. Yeah, those ones, as it turns out, are, like mostly we're mostly like in that style the style that we recognize with like the ribbons and like the little triangle nose the dotted eyes and like the v's mm-hmm. that one is like kind of was just created as a way for like the native peoples to like make a little yeah. bit of money which is like a little bit disappointing to hear of hear about because it's like it's not like the quita penas where it has like this rich culture and like the significance about it but i don't know because it's like Every culture kind of has their rag dolls, and that's like significant to them because that's like that's like little miniatures of like mm-hmm. their culture and their dress. So I guess it's like 
it's uh, not impolite. It's not it's not correct to say that they don't have cultural significance because like these dolls do have a lot of cultural significance because they're like they're like deeply tied into like yeah. Mexican crafts and stuff. You the Mexican people but made yeah, these... them, therefore they are uh, of the Mexican culture. Yeah, and like they continue to make them, but yeah, they are mostly used as something to sell to tourists, <laughs> and like they're they're a lot bigger than like the quita penas because those are like little tiny yeah. ones. I mean, you can make them bigger, but those the bigger ones are also yeah, you... just to sell to tourists. Yeah, because I remember having one and, like, having a little woven basket that was made with it and, like, playing Aww. with that. So, you know, that it's part of my childhood, so that's, like, significant. Yeah. But, like, from what I read, the that style of dolls that we're most familiar with was actually created by one of Diego Rivera's daughters. If you don't know who Diego Rivera is... He's a muralist painter who like cheated on Frida Kahlo and broke her oh, heart. Oh and destroyed yeah, her. okay. I was trying to remember. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know anyways, who that is. Fuck Diego Rivera. <laughs> fuck that man. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Her his daughter's cool, I guess. <laughs> Probably. They they tend to be. Yeah, but that's that's an interesting juxtaposition. Oh, the yeah. They they're both uh they've both become similar things, in that they're they're more of a way Ooh. for. For the poor and indigenous folk to make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, like, from the article I read, it says that they most likely originated in Querétaro. Mm-hmm. And, like, my family is actually from that area. And I've gone to Querétaro. Like, I recognize the area. Mm-hmm. Because my, my, fa- my family owns property Oh, oh my God. Yo, we're rich. <laughs> what the fuck? We're, what? <laughs> we're actually- we're we're you know one of those disgusting. <laughs> we're, how do you say what's the word? Hmm. We're gentrifiers. Gentrif- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we made all of our money in the U.S. and then we went back and like we bought property and raised the price. <laughs> so, you no, know, that's that's another thing Terrible. to talk about. Mexico is that the economy is like a little bit messed up. A little bit. Like there's there's. Uh, the thing of the, I guess, like, the short of it is, like, the thing with Mexico is that there's no middle class. Mm. It's just the rich and the poor. And, like, there's very little opportunities for, like, the poor to, like, to, like, move forward to say. So for a lot of them, especially, like, the indigenous people who have, like, just the same as the U.S., they've had, like, their land stolen, mm-hmm. all of that. And, like, in Guatemala, they, they, were, like they mean... were genocided. Yeah. Uh, In the 80s, bro. In the 80s. In the 80s. Shit. Shit. That's really funny because, like, these dolls were created in, like, the 70s. So, like, just 10 years after the the Mexican ragdoll that we know Uh, today. I mean, I found out that they've been being genocided since, like, the 60s, but... But but the 80s was, like, the genocide. I'm so glad that we... That we were, did a, a La Llorona episode because I never would have known. Because the only yeah. reason that I know is we saw, because I saw a commercial. <laughs> because I saw a trailer for another uh, La Llorona movie that isn't The Curse. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's like a Sundance one. It's it's going to be on Shudder uh, August 6th if you want to watch it. I want to watch it. It's about, the, like, the commercial is talking about Guatemalan genocide, and it was saying that it was in the 80s and stuff, and I was like, that's not real. You can't tell me that that is real. And I looked it up. It's real. <laughs> and I went down, like, yeah. a rabbit hole of how the indigenous people are just, like, just keep getting fucked over. And then that's also kind of why I had, like, a... We didn't, I, I didn't do the whole list, I don't think, but I have, like, a list right here about how tourism bad and, like, how capitalism sucks. Because, like, because uh, cause you're using the the something part of the indigenous culture to make money off of tourists, but in the same breath, you don't you don't like these or the government doesn't like these people. And mm-hmm. like not even what, like 40 years ago. <laughs> This, ah, it makes me angry. It makes me angry. Yeah, and I guess it's like it, the same. It's like the same for every indigenous culture, it would seem. But it's it still makes me mad. You know what I mean? And like, it's kind of, it kind of like goes hand in hand with like why so many Mexican legends are like kind of so messed up. Yeah. 
is because that colonialism is really fucked up. Yeah. And, like, we're still, to this day, like, Mexico is still, like, still has, like, the effects of, like, colonialism and, and being, like, disenfranchised mm-hmm. and, like, unstabilized. Good stories, man. Yeah. <laughs> good ghost stories. Uh, I, like, I love I love this ghost story. They're very good. <laughs> hey, man, all that. But look, our ghost stories are fucking terrifying. Fucking terrifying on point. <laughs> What is, what's, what's, what's some American ghost story? You can't think of one. <laughs> Fucking Yankee <laughs> they're Doodle. They're all like, they're all like in an old house. Man. Or like some, like someone got murdered in the big house. I think it's a lot of American, American ghost yeah, stories. Huh. American ghost stories sucks. It's the only thing I can think of. Everything is like, oh, it's a ghost because it came from England or something. <laughs> I guess the Queen Mary... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of ghost stories in, like, England, but that's just because, like, it's so fucking old, It's man. fucking old, yeah. <laughs> and, like, they know their history, you know? The thing about, like, Latin America is, like, we don't know our history. Yeah, and a lot it's of really it is sad. lost. We know Spanish history. Yeah. The colonizers. I remember I saw this disgusting. tweet that was just, like, how come, like, when we talk about, like, ancient mythology, we only talk about, like, the Greeks and Romans? And I'm just like, baby, that's because the colonizer burnt, like, all of the documents and, yeah. like, got rid of, like, all of those altars and stuff. Yeah, man, it's No all one know. knows what the mythology <laughs> of, like, ancient cultures were. Yeah, man, like, all the... <sighs> yeah, all the mythology of our ancient cultures is, like, boiled down to... Or is, like everyone is like oh it's aliens oh it's aliens oh it's a fucking uh, curse what was that there was a movie about about a mayan curse and i was like boy we can't just have a temple we can't just have a temple it's got to be cursed i mean i guess i'm i'm assuming that a lot of uh, mayan spirits are very mad but i don't know still it's like i don't know what's what's there's no, like, the curse of the Leaning Tower of, of Pisa, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the curse of the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Like, that's a, that's a, that's a marvel <laughs> of the historical world, right? I'm trying to think of, like, there's no, like, uh, the curse of is. the Parthenon. Maybe we gotta do some research on the Tower of Pisa haunted. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> We just built it weird and it leaned. And it leaned. It leaned because of a ghost. It's too heavy. (laughs) Yeah, man. This this turned from, oh, look at these cute dolls. And also, I have two stories of ladies that saying they were cursed or haunted or whatever. To, uh... (laughs) People are racist. (laughs) It's not not racism. It's colonialism. There you go. Colonialism bad. bad. We don't even know our own culture. And the people that do are being systematically yeah, murdered. Yeah, we gotta have our own culture, like, repackaged and sold to us, man. That's yeah, how it is. That's how it is. Yeah, man. I think that's um, also probably why in in America, like, all of our music kind of meshes together. Like, even to us. Because uh, we kind of don't... Well, maybe it's just in America that we don't know. <laughs> but, like... What is it? I think on Twitter I saw a couple people, like... Getting kind of mad about uh, what was it? Someone someone was like talking about music that they listen to at parties or like music that they're listening to, and they're like Mexican, and they're like, "That's Colombian, dude." And it's like, bro, it, it, <laughs> we don't know anymore. <laughs> we're just we're just here, guys. It's in Spanish. Let me listen to it. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny. Maybe I didn't say it correctly, but I thought it was a little sad and also funny because i also didn't know the difference <laughs> i only recently found out that i can't understand colombian people because they have a different accent than me yeah there's a lot of diversity even like within mexico of like their art and tradition but enough of, i mean i do have two stories about yeah tell us yeah. your stories before we went on like this whole rant about colombia i know i bad. forgot you guys it's- wanted to hear about haunted <laughs> stuff right <laughs> Yeah, let's hear about haunted. Right. Isn't that fun? Isn't it fun when things are yeah. haunted? I sure, sure do, do like it when things are haunted. <laughs> God, no, no, no more Latin stuff. It's just, it's just sad. Anyway, so on a forum here, I think from the same article that I found, the lady who dis- who started selling um, 
the dolls on her own. In the comments, a couple ladies were saying that uh, they got nightmares with their dolls. <laughs> spooky. Mm. Spooky. So this lady says, let me see, so it may be haunted and I have a couple of, uh, couple of theories maybe. So this lady says, I'm assuming lady, I had my worry doll for a while. Whenever I told her my worries, everything was fine. But the days I did not talk to her, and I had her on the top sheet of my pillow, I had very awful nightmares. My pets actually avoided it. It really creeped me out, so I burned her. Now I feel like I have bad luck. First of all, you do have bad luck now. <laughs> Don't burn things. Yeah. Cause, Don't. Because I heard you're not supposed to burn things. Because I remember when I was a kid and my parents would warn me about the Ouija board. Because, yeah, you know, sometimes your parents give you, like, the talk about the birds and the bees. My parents gave me the talk about yeah. the Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, when they gave me the talk about it, they said, like, if you're in a, ever in a situation where, like, you, you try it and, like, bad stuff start happening, you have to burn it. But, like, I've heard that you're not supposed to because that makes it worse, actually. That's, I don't understand where this, like where this we have to burn it came from like i don't know who i think i think maybe someone in doing their research heard that like fire is very powerful in magic and so they were like ah mm -hmm. it's powerful it can destroy something it's like no fam that's not how it works oh people yeah people say burn and stuff and i'm like you're gonna mm -hmm. okay Alrighty, that's a bad idea. Do you know what you're supposed to do instead? What it's supposed to do? I don't know what fire by itself is supposed to do, but I know fire, like, accelerates med. I don't know how to explain. It, like, it bumps it up. It makes it more powerful. It, it levels it up. Yeah, <laughs> it bumps like it that. up. That's why <laughs> candle magic is supposed to be, like, uh, more powerful and, like, more quick, I guess is the word. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I was going to say, you have, so there, okay, so we have, let's say we got two options here, Ming. One, I'll, I'll use uh, options that I've already done. So you can either do, you can do, like, a money jar, which, mm -hmm. which can, uh, what's the word? Mm, which can, like, help bring money in. And that's a little bit more of, like, a slower process. So, like, you, you gotta keep, what's the word, stoking it, I guess, could be the word. It's not fire. It's, but, like, you have to keep adding pennies and keep adding money and keep, like, putting your intent on it for it to work. But, um, what's the word? In, how did, what, oh, shit, what's the word? Uh, in exchange for it taking a longer time, it's more stable. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. So, like, maybe you won't get the, like, $300 that you need right now immediately, but you will have a quote-unquote extra $300 in a couple months from now, and you'll be able to keep it. With, mm -hmm. let's say, a mon let's, with, like, a money candle, you can burn it, you can put, like, or, like, once you burn it, it's, like, very quick, usually. <laughs> I, I kind of have my doubts about, like, money spells that are, like, like candles. Because I kind of, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, so, one, I feel like it's it can be a waste of money because why would you want money only right now and not in the future? But also, like... Oh, for, for, for playing well, money spells, really. <laughs> well, no, I know. But, it's, but it, there's also a chance that it doesn't work. Um, mm -hmm. But what it's supposed to do, and what, for a lot of people, it works, it's more quick. So, like, if you kind of need money like right now if you're, if you're in a tough si i don't say don't do it because if you're in a tough situation and you need money buying a candle is probably not the best thing but like <laughs> but like if you not need if you would like some more money for like a trip let's say that's kind of a little bit more responsible i would say it's like if you just want some extra money for a trip that you're doing and you already have some then maybe buy a money candle and you can get some more money or you can what's it called you can potentially get some more money very soon. Yeah, and that's like if you burn a dollar bill on like a money candle. No, no, no. you um, the can. Okay, so 
<laughs> All right. So here we go. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so what a lot of people do, it's it depends on where you get it. Like some people or some um, businesses, I guess, uh, what they do is they just kind of have a green candle uh, that you light and you put your own um, like anointing oils or, or uh, intent on it. Uh, but some mm-hmm. artisans uh, will like infuse their candle or like do some work to it beforehand. Um, what you do is like you kind of just put <laughs> anything you can think of that helps with money. So, <laughs> so the color green would be um, something that attracts money. Um, basil, I believe. Basil and bay leaves and oh what else there's some there's some kind of oil as well you kind of just like you don't burn money you just like you burn you use stuff that is associated with getting more money money (laughs) yeah Uh, that's interesting there's like a lot of symbolism in witchcraft i think symbolisms so yeah so you can yeah i feel like i didn't explain it well and maybe some some people who are are better versed than me. <laughs> we'll be like, bitch, you stupid. Like, look what the fuck is this bitch saying? Wait, what, what do you... What do witches call baby witches? Do you just call each other baby, baby witches? witches? <laughs> yeah. Call baby witch. <laughs> hey, man, we, we all start somewhere, yeah, man. man. I don't know everything, but that's kind of the gist of it and what I've what people have told me and I've seen. But the reason that it, it the, the candle works faster than the other one is because of the fire. Is ultimately what I'm getting at. The fire. So, <laughs> so like, if I were to burn a Ouija board, would it just make the haunting? Faster? Yeah, it would make the haunting more powerful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, more powerful. They're just like, hell yeah. <laughs> They're like, ooh shit, nice. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. Oh, that's man. It like, uh, a fire. A fire is very much like not for destroying in witchcraft. It's just for enhancing. There we go. Those are the words. There we go. There we go. You we got it. there, baby. You spent like 20 minutes <laughs> and you finally found the Oh, words. no. Just edit out all the 20 minutes. <laughs> edit it out. <laughs> you finally I finally got all it. All of that. that. <laughs> so that way you can remember the words. <laughs> oh, oh I'm dumb. I'm dumb, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, podcasting is fun. It's okay. I forget my words all the damn time. <laughs> I was trying to explain by examples when I could have just said that. Oh, oh. I was like, so you got a money jar, right? And you got another thing. Uh. <laughs> so what you're saying is I shouldn't, I shouldn't burn my kingdom no. and as doll if it gives me nightmares. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. And l- yeah, if you're like intent or if like the reason that you're burning it is because something scary is in it, don't do that bad oh yeah there was another another story that yeah there was (laughs) all right let's go with that one all right she says tell me the story i love love stories too it's great tell tell me the story it says i researched this post after three separate family members had nightmares from the worry dolls we were given my daughter had used them when she was younger and there were no issues but the new ones were used once i.e i.e Oh, I don't know why she used IE, but the new ones were used once, given some simple worries, and she had a terrible nightmare. She did not put them under Mm. her pillow again. I said I would experiment with them, and I put them under my pillow. Yes, I had a nightmare, but I forgot to remove them from my pillow. The next night, my son got into my bed, and he immediately had a bad dream. I then had another interesting... Oh, wait. I then had another. Interestingly, our dreams were of similar concepts. Spooky. Ooh. What was what was the context she didn't of the dream? Say. Did it tell you? She didn't say. That one I'm more like, oh, you got uh, bigger issues than that. <laughs> you got bigger mm. issues than that, ma'am. But um what I'm trying to get out here is that I feel like because of all the worries and the woes that the indigenous people have to deal with, maybe some of these dolls that they've made carry that dun 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 
No, that makes a lot That's... of sense because, like, the indigenous people in like Latin America really like kind of swept aside. Yeah, swept aside and like killed. And like maybe when you bring like bring like a, an artifact of like that sort of culture that is like if if like they are used for like their intended pur- purpose have like heard like all of these troubles and then suddenly they have to hear like white people problems. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, man. <laughs> or they're just like, man, shut the fuck up. Like, sh- <laughs> Could you imagine? I- <laughs> <laughs> it's all just whispering back to you. Man, <laughs> shut up. It's like, let me give you some fucking real problems. <laughs> uh, it's just like when my mother it's just like when my mother would beat me. She would be- I would start crying and then she'd be like, I'll give you a reason to yeah. cry. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> that's that's the keep the pen. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> this episode. I didn't think this episode was gonna be this I didn't dark. Think so. If I'm being completely honest, <laughs> I didn't think so either. I was ready. I was like, I'm sure there's someone who got some nightmares or whatever. No. <laughs> like, oh, fucking. Uh. Uh, Guatemalan genocide and and the fucking disenfranchisement I think that's the word of the indigenous people Mm -hmm. oh great but yeah man that's my theory on that like they either like I feel like that's probably the case if you because they're making they're 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 doing witchcrafts man they're making these dolls Mm -hmm. what was it I think you sent it to me and I thought it was fun because there is a little bit of um truth i don't know what truth is the word where you're like or where you sent me the post where the person was saying that they think that like knitting and crocheting is like witchcraft yeah maybe a little bit man <laughs> maybe yeah. a little bit because there's um what's it called like you're you're not supposed to i think there's like a wives tale that like you're not supposed to be making like you're not supposed to knit something for another person while angry because mm-hmm, then you have like the intent there and that's like the same sort of belief with like you know people people quote the japanese but i think this is really something in like all cultures it's like when you make something like you are putting intent into yeah. it like whether whether you realize it or not because i was i i've been tidying up mm-hmm. a little bit and, like, one of the things that Marie Kondo talks about is, like, the in the Shinto religion, like, everything was made by someone, and, like, they were, this, it was made with care, and it needs to be treated with respect, and you need to, like, thank the item when, like, it no longer serves you mm. anymore. Because for that time, it did serve you, yeah. you know? And, like, the item deserves that sort of respect. And I suppose it's kind of, like, the same, and, like, I don't know how, if I if I should say that. I guess it's kind of like the same in like the collector's community. Is like you have to like take care of your things with the idea that it's like oh then you'll resell it for a higher price. But it's just like you just you treat it nice because you like it. Yeah. You know. I can see that. I'm I'm glad I do that regularly because <laughs> it, it serves the purpose of like you know making making your your living area brighter mm-hmm. and nicer. Cause boy, I, ha- I have a lot of plushies, and I love each and every Same. one of them. I always feel bad. I have my IKEA shark with oh, me. I love this bitch. Love that IKEA shark. <laughs> it's extremely cute. Yeah. Every time I've seen it at IKEA, I've been <laughs> like, oh, he would look so nice on my bed. He would look so cute. It's on my bed. No, bitch. I love him. I'm hu- hugging it, er- hugging it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but good vibes in nice. this shark. Love it. See, yeah, but like. On that same vein, I'd imagine if, like, there's someone, there's someone who's, like, making Akita Benadol and, like, they're, they're doing it because they're, like, in the position where, like, they're living in poverty, where they're disenfranchised. Maybe that sort of energy goes into that doll without them knowing it, you know? I have to agree. That's, that was, that was my theory behind them. Like, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Like, I don't see any other, how, how else? I mean, aside from them just not, uh, like, uh, aside of this, ju- eh. aside from this just not being real, I don't see any other reason why this person would have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, like, man. maybe, I don't know, maybe their home life is bad, and that's why they have the worry dolls. But, mm, but I think they're tourists, so probably not. 
Yeah, man. I think that's yeah. probably what it is. I don't know. If I, I'm, I'm kind of petty. If, <laughs> if I had to make dolls for uh, rich white people to, while I'm like living in a hut, I'd, I'd probably put some, <laughs> I'd probably put some bad, some bad energy in there. Yeah. In there and be like, Haha, take that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. Or probably not. Cause then that shit goes back on you actually. <laughs> That's why you can't. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. If you, if you want to do, um, like, cursy magic on people, you gotta, like, fucking bless yourself hella, cause then the curse just comes back at you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. And that's, that's the story of the Quita Pena and, like, the traditional Mexican ragdoll <laughs> as a disenfranchise of the native peoples <laughs> and the destabilization of the economies. <laughs> well, now, now it is. <laughs> Isn't this... <laughs> The original, <laughs> the original, the original story is it's just a cute doll, and it helps kids when 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 they feel sad or scared, is what actually worry dolls are. But, the, the but now, side. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but take a walk with well, us down the dark what a, side what a, what of what colonialism and capitalism. <laughs> This is supposed to be like the how do you say the this is supposed to be like like the filler episode for like the scarier stuff, but I feel like La Yorona episode was actually funnier than this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah, so I mean if you don't want to be bummed out, maybe listen yeah. to that one. <laughs> that one was oh, that's a good maybe episode. Maybe I should just draw us being sad on this one. We're just sad. We're like, oh no. <laughs> Uh, All right, then that that was that was haunts on us. <laughs> we were haunted on Maine. We were, and now we're now just we're sad. sad. <laughs> Don't yeah, buy them. Man. Tell tell us about the about the dolls used in your culture. W- wouldn't that yeah. be nice? Were you the one? Uh, are you the culture that has the worry stone? I forgot about that. Oh, worry, worry stone! stone. <laughs> yeah, man, that? it's a stone that you tell all your worries to. It's it's just ah at least we had yeah, a doll. A it's stone? just this doll with less effort. That's a, a stone, stone. Luigi. That's <laughs> you didn't make it. Make it. I, I chiseled, chiseled it. it. Hmm? It's, it's a, a football. football. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sorry you got sad. Uh, <laughs> and like slightly political. <laughs> yeah, <man>. But um, <laughs> I don't I don't know. Have <laughs> now you have some knowledge, I guess maybe if I'm good at at, at saying anything. <laughs> it's now okay. you have some trivia. Baby's first podcast. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you have some trivia that you can that you can be a know it all with. I love doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could you could check us out on our social media for fun, colorful, <laughs> bright, and cute art. <laughs> Of our ragdoll sonas that isn't sad. Oh no. <laughs> you can follow us at haunt underscore r underscore us on Instagram and Twitter, and we also have a Tumblr, haunts dash r dash us. And if you have like an idea for an episode or you want to tell us about your dolls and want to show us your doll oh. collection or want to give us one of your stories, you could always email us at hauntsrus at gmail.com. And my name was Cheeb, and I was haunted yeah. on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I'm sad. (laughs) 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 All right. We hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Hopefully, you listen to this while you. Yeah. Hopefully, you don't get nightmares. Yeah. This is the nightmare episode. (laughs) If you listen to this episode at 3 a.m., you get nightmares. (laughs) Gone racist. (laughs) All right. Good night, folks.